Okay. If you guys know by this intro right here, we're playing something different, you know. I always want to make a video in which I'm going to be focused on games, you know, such as like Shindo, GPO, and stuff like that. But I also want to make videos on other games as well. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out a, a new revamp game. You guys probably know this game from previously before, but they closed down because they wanted to revamp the game, make it even better than it, what it was before. But yeah, this is called OPM, aka One Piece Millennium 3, alright, okay. So this game is back. And you guys right see right here, it's going to be opening tomorrow. Um, depends on what the time I make this video on. Probably it's going to be made today. Depends what time I make this video on. But I think it's going to be released somewhere between either tomorrow morning or like, you know, like maybe an hour from now. But it honestly depends. But basically, as you guys can see right here, what's revamped is the system, the combat system, the movement, uh, shops, NPCs, UIs look nice. Boat models, which is actually really, really cool. We're we'll checking that out today. All the updates are the new level cap, Skypea, Goro, and Gura, which is Quake, Quake, and Lightning, you know, Lightning. Uh, there's also a new boss, which is the Yeti, and then I guess they have an Eno boss as well. And then I guess they have also two sword style, three sword style, and all its skills. But yeah, we're gonna be checking all the updates that happened in this video. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And uh, let's get right into this. All right, boys. Okay, so, all right, so we're in game right now, as you guys can see right here. And shout out to the boss for letting me make this video. But basically, you guys can see right here. Let's start, first start off with the regular combat right here. So you guys can see the combat right here. Okay, I, I just one tapped them. Okay, um, you guys see, it kind of has an aim assist. I think that's the best way to explain it. It has an aim assist, and uh, not only that, it kind of like locks you to the person. So we, we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna just show the regular combat. Oh, uh, hopefully I don't want to one tap this guy Okay, I will tap them. All right, um, but if I could kind of explain it You guys can see right there if you guys see the lock on that it has I think it targets the most nearest person which is kind of clean. I like that a lot uh, I'm gonna do it to the bottom. I'm gonna hit the boss real quick. I mean, um, yeah, you guys see right here It's it's kind of yeah, it's locked in you guys saw that but I, I like that a lot. Oh my god. That's good right there Okay Okay, right, now we'll go to the fruits. So with this fruit right here, it's the Quake Quake. So um, I ate it right here. We're gonna go to the fruits. So you guys can see right here, Shermer. You guys can see right here, uh, Tremor Fruit has light moves. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be a thing. Uh, it's not. It probably isn't. But once again, this is a special server. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys can see right here. Uh, there's not really a point on showing the skills because. In this dev server, um, you know, these aren't the correct names, but this is not the main game, okay? This is just a dev server, so not everything will be all of that, but it's all it's all fine, though. So I'll click Z right here. So this is probably Tremor Punch right there. It looks actually really, really nice. The second move, which is the X, uh, let me see what it does. Oh, that I think it's an AoE right there. Let's go try this out. Okay, no, never mind. I think it's in cooldown. There we go. You guys can see right there. Okay, you know, I'm gonna use the boss as a test dummy right here. So we got right here. I, I don't know if this knockbacks. No, it does. It does it knockback? Okay. So that's actually might be a good combo extender right there. Now we're, for the second move, we have the C. The third move. Oh, does this bring us to tsunami? Oh. Okay. Now it comes. That was a little bit delayed, huh? Okay. Zoom out. Oh, I see it. Okay. There we go. I use it again. You guys can see right there. The tsunami comes on pretty slow. I don't know if. Uh, Anyone can dodge that. I feel like anyone can dodge that really fast. But I guess you could use it mid-battle while they're distracted and he'll be fine. Then we got the last move. Uh, we got the V right here. Oh! Oh! Hey, it got a camera? Wow. Okay, that's actually kind of clean. I like that a lot. Uh, I think they just pushed them up. Uh, we're going to try this on a test dummy right here. Okay. Um, I don't think that's a point-blank move. Okay, uh, what's, um, what's that, uh, alright, I'm gonna try my X move, so I think this is the AoE, let's go try this out, boom, yeah, it just pushes them, oh my god, I got, I got, I got flung, alright, yeah, I got the Z right here, you know, that does the damage, that doesn't push or anything like that, and of course we have the C, which is the tsunami right here, and let's see how useful it is, this might be just like for, I guess, NPCs, um, I don't know if, it should be like this simply because this kind of takes too long, but you know, it, it, it's fine. <laughs> uh, 
The second thing we can we have to check out with this revamp is the shop system. So you guys can see right here, uh, you can basically spin for fruits, which is kind of cool. You know, uh, 500 robux for a fruit. Okay, and then you also have a spin fruit, which is belly. Uh, I don't know if belly is. I think belly was pretty easy to get in this game. So you know, once you're able to grind pretty well, you should be able to get belly really fast. Especially if you have AOE fruits that can kill multiple NPCs at once. That is going to be very, very easy. Double XP is only 90 Robux, which is actually really nice. I like that a lot with them. Um, 100k belly is only 100. So, uh, you know, it's all it's all good though. Um, I like that shop system where you can spin your fruits. But you can also find it as well. I think uh, finding it might be easier. Because remember, finding fruits in this game is really, 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 really easy. Alright, before we actually go to Goro, which is probably something that you guys really, really want to see, let's go to the uh, three sword style. So you guys can see, first sword style is on the first island right here. Uh, we got the okay, this is Frankie. Okay, Frankie, kind of looking, uh, kind of looking clean. I mean, uh, he looks like. Oh, actually, yeah, they added the boat system. So uh, let's go see how well this is right now. Alright, I guess we can just sit right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. The 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 sea actually looks kind of nice. It does have that kind of um, unrealistic feel to this whole theme. I feel like if they just kept it to the regular blue, it would be fine. Ah, right, there we go. We got the money. I right, I bought it. So, um, do I just do I just? Oh, three sword style looking clean. Mm, 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 mm. Right, let me try this. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. All right. So we have. Okay, so when you buy is put stats into swords, you actually get the thing unlocked. It doesn't tell you how much stats you have it unlocked, but uh, you guys can see right here. Boom! Oh, that, that's clean! Alright, so finally, of course, we're gonna end this video with Goro. You know, that's kind of the coolest thing a part of this video. But let's go st first off with the Z. So, the Z right here is basically like, I could basically just control it. You guys see right here, if I were to aim, boom, hits him off. Just like that, you know, it looks really nice. Uh, might be really good with wars, and I think he's stunned right there. I, yeah, he might be stunned. All right. Then we got the X. Um, so I think this is the dash. Yeah, this is the dash. So basically, I could dash pretty far out. You know, uh, it's really nice. The range is kind of like, it's all right. I feel like it could be longer. You know, bigger. Um, but it's, it's not. It's not bad. It's not bad. Then we got the C, and this basically. Throws a huge fist. You guys can see right here. Boom. It goes by the mouse. So if you want to hit someone, of course, uh, you're going to need to aim. And then finally, we have the ultimate, which is the V right here. It basically has a huge bomb. Lightning bomb right here. It's like a spirit bomb. And then boom. And I mean, yeah, you guys can see right there. It does like, okay. I don't think I put enough stats for it to actually do any damage. But you guys already know, you could basically spam this a lot, actually. Cooldowns aren't that bad. Oh, okay. So, actually, there's actually one more thing that we forgot to record right here. So, it's Skypea. You guys can see right here. I almost actually forgot about it, but here's Skypea. You know, it looks pretty simple. I, I like it. I like the feel that it's giving. Uh, so, there. Uh, you have to be level 200 for this quest. Uh, let's go check this out. We got... Alright, as there's Skypeans right here, let's try to find... Okay, Eno's right there. Alright, let's... Let me try to get a close, good look of him real quick. Oh, what's up? Bro! Hey, hey, don't kill me, bro. All right, I, I gotta run away. But you guys can see Sky P is right there. If you guys do enjoy the video, make you make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know. Let me know down below which what you guys want to see next. But yeah, I'll see you guys very, very soon.